Prokaryotic cells, they're absolutely everywhere. In our digestive system, on the surface of our skin, even in the air we breathe sometimes, although they're quite heavy so they fall quite quickly. But how do prokaryotic cells divide? Well, the answer is binary fission. And in today's video, I'm gonna tell you exactly what you need to know to master this part of the AQA A-level biology specification. So stay tuned guys, and don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. So A-level biology, binary fission. Well, how do prokaryotic cells replicate then? Well, they do this by a process known as binary fission. Now, I'm going to take you through that now. So the first step is that the prokaryotic cell first replicates its circular DNA and plasmids. Now, remember, plasmids are circular loops of DNA that give the bacteria things like antibiotic resistance, and they can actually be transferred from one bacterium to another. Next, the cell grows larger, as we can see in step two and three here, and the two circular DNA loops migrate to the opposite poles of the cell. So we can see this circular DNA represented with the blue line here, migrating upwards to that pole. And we can see the circular DNA at the bottom, represented by the black loop, migrating to the bottom there. And these two small purple discs are the plasmids. Now, when we talk about a pole of a cell, so the pole of a cell, they're basically the ends of the cell. Next of all, the cytoplasm then starts to divide and the new peptidoglycan or murine cell walls develop. Now, the cell wall of bacterial cells are softer than those of plant cells. And that's because bacterial cell walls are made of peptidoglycan, whereas plant cell walls are made of cellulose. And if you think about it, plants need really strong, rigid cell walls to support the plant so that they can absorb as much light as possible for photosynthesis. Whereas because bacteria are usually unicellular, they don't really have that issue. So next of all, the cytoplasm fully divides, producing two daughter cells. And we can see that in step five and step six. Each of the two daughter cells have a copy of the circular DNA along with the plasmids. And the number of plasmids varies and you can have many plasmids within each bacterial cell. Now, finally then, let's go through some exam practice. So here's a past paper question. Describe binary fission in bacterial cells. Now, this is worth three marks. So pause the video here, and we'll go through the answer. So the answer is, for one mark, replication of the circular DNA. Your second mark comes for a replication of the plasmids, and your third and final mark comes for writing about the division of the cytoplasm producing two daughter cells. Now that's all we've got time for today, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.